Ready to roll. This is best of three. Capriati to serve. And the first point to Jennifer Capriati. We've mentioned the sun several times today as it gets lower in the sky. The shadows start to creep across this huge center court here. The thing about most center courts, and this is one of them, a little extra running room, Mike. Most courts 60 by 120 feet. You've got about maybe an extra 20 feet on the sides and an extra 20 feet behind. And as a player, you come out onto one of these major courts. And, and you really feel that the court almost looks like a postage stamp. Psychologically, uh, I think there was always something difficult about getting used to that right away. But feels roomy outside the line, but inside the lines, like cramped the style of the players. 30 all. And it's very quickly into this first game now. Like to win the first uh, toss of the coin and get the first serve, or would you rather return? You no, know, I like to return, Mike. I always felt pretty confident in my own serve, and I love putting the pressure on the other guy. I didn't mind being down if I didn't win, but I was able to break really early sometimes. Double fault. And now, great point. First in the first game. Capriati likes to play at a high pace, just as Martina Hingis did. Thought it was long. Oh, oh foul on backhand cross court for another great point. And now Jennifer oh. into the chair up part. Another look at this very close shot on the Bruce line. Oh. The famous Mac Cam as it's called. Way in. Yeah. So Venus Williams, the second great point here in this first game. There's a lot of pressure, and uh, I really think it's very smart many times to just let the other player serve first. Another close call on the baseline, and Venus wins in that six so the third great point save. First game, if it is a tough game and you survive, your confidence level jumps up very quickly. And a lot of opportunities to serve in this first game as Jennifer Capriati. That could be good if she wins the game. <laughs> she saves the fourth for a point. This could end up being the longest game of the match. to win this first game. Yeah, it's definitely getting windy down there, Mike. You can see this hair blowing. Caparati likes to play at a fast pace. So does Venus Williams. She doesn't mind it. Oh. 
Not long. Wide. Four break points. Another deuce. It is. Nancy has held her serve in the 16th point of the first game. Jennifer Capriati won love in set one of the women's singles semifinal, the second of the day. Something about the microphone yeah. down on the court that Jennifer might have uh, picked up on. I that was. Jane Harvey's a very soft spoken, lovely British lass. We'll watch if you have any trouble with the microphone, but we'll watch that. Thing. So now Venus Williams to serve. Venus has yet to lose a set in this U.S. Open. Lisa Raymond in the round of 32, Sam Green Testud, and then Kim Kleisters. Only two of the matches went over an hour. Much of that first match Venus Williams was watching. I would suspect an awful lot of it. And Serena Williams won her way into the U.S. Open final. <laughs> Stefano, Capriano, Jennifer's dad, has been with her through thick and thin. I remember seeing him out on the back courts at Wimbledon when Jennifer was about 14 years old. Nobody would heard of much about the Capriati's. You know, you, you see a lot of people on the back court. It's amazing. I've noticed. It's amazing. You wander around, don't yes, you? Yes, indeed. I stay busy back there. <laughs> well, yeah, I was doing that the other day, watching Andy Roddick warm up with uh, Dr. Sensible. You found out a little bit down there. Yes, indeed. On the practice court. So now double break point for Jennifer Capriati. No, oh, that's a fall. Big opportunity here. Second serve. Capriati breaks through in the second game of the first set. Venus Williams won only one point on her serve. And that was a big return of serve, Mike. I think that's one of the areas in Jennifer's game that has definitely improved. She goes for bigger shots on the return, picks up some errors from her opponent. Jennifer Capriati's 10th appearance at the U.S. Open. The court, she's got the break. Oh, the scramble. We talked about the sun and the light. Jennifer getting a break now. She's standing right in the shadow of one of these huge light poles. And as she looks up, she's actually shaded a little bit. So that won't last for long. And Venus rips a forehand long. Last time Capriati was in a semifinal, she was beaten by the eventual champion, Monica Sellis. Third set tie break. In that match, one of the classic semifinals in the history of this Open for the women. Venus Williams, a little loose on the return. Well, Serena Williams was so on, you expected everything to work in her favor. And it did against Martina Hengis. So far, not the same story for Venus Williams. Up. They have not played three games yet, and Venus Williams already with 11 unforced errors. It's a bad number. Ooh, and another one. At this stage, Jennifer's maybe thinking to herself, just keep that ball in play. Let those errors keep flowing. 
Well, Venus looks like she's hitting out at everything. It's just uh, she's flying them long right now. Way inside the baseline in the second serve. Backhand to backhand. Cross court. No, no way. And Jennifer Capriati holds serve to lead three love. In the first set. This is almost like the replay of the first match, but the other way as Capriati off to a great start and Venus looking very shaky early here. This is Venus's fifth appearance at the U.S. Open. The 2000 champion, a complete miss hit on the baseline by yeah, Venus Lee. Yeah, just playing with that ball, but again, Capriati with a very deep, solid return off that forehand. Finally yeah, got it together. 111 miles per hour. 14. Beg your pardon. That's a long way away that <laughs> IBM counter. <laughs> Bullet by Venus it was 114. That one was 116. But a fault. Yes. Big overhead by Venus Williams. 30, 15. Two years ago at Wimbledon, like I'm doing a match with Venus, she serves 125 miles per hour, bre breaks her own record, and wins the match easily out on court number one. The next match is Sampras. He starts off with the first couple of games 120 miles per hour. I said, hey, Pete's only five miles per hour slower than Venus. <laughs> Not sure he liked that too much. Yeah, Two-time Wimbledon champion, Venus Williams. It's long. And first there on the forehand side. Venus says, look to hit a forehand winner. Now that 13 on four goal. Amazing start for Jennifer Capriati. The service winner that time. Brings Venus winning to 40 30, a 119 mile an hour serve. You see Jennifer trying to hold up Venus Williams, yeah. slow down a little bit. Yes, yeah, she is indeed, Mike. That's so cool. Well, Venus has a tendency when she starts serving well, in particular, to get the balls and start rolling again. And if you're the receiver, you have every right to say, hey, listen, I'm not ready. Slow it down a little bit. So the forehand right now is betraying Venus Williams a little bit. And the French, only the fifth woman player in tennis history to do that. Pretty good effort. And Venus's forehand. Into the middle of the net. Say well inside the baseline, but not really. That was a deep shot. Fantastic depth. Just caught the inside of that baseline. There from Jennifer. She used a one-handed slice, kept that ball low. 
That's the other thing I see her doing now that she didn't used to do, and that is she changes the pace so much more than she used to. She used to just hit out on every ball. Game point, Capriati, a leg forward, and it's fired last. Another thing I like about Capriati's game, the second serve has definitely improved. I watched it at the French two years ago, and she was chasing that ball around on the baseline, really having trouble with her toss. Much more consistent now. Inside out it to the backhand, and she goes for too much, and she knew it. Here's a great line from Venus. The forehand cross court. Now watch this opportunity. Ooh. She knew the minute she hit that ball, it was a long decision. And so now, break point. Jennifer. Good for Jane Harvey. Yeah. Please remain quiet during the points if you can. Thank you. Asking for quiet during the points. Wow. That's amazing. That's a little tough to do with this kind of a crowd. Let first serve. Let first serve. Until 15 or 16,000 New Yorkers to be quiet. You're, you're in big trouble. <laughs> and she's a New Yorker herself. Well, born here anyway. <laughs> You should know better. Oh, oh, oh. So Capriati, a little irritated here, facing a great point, saves that one. And a big hand goes up. You kind of sense this crowd is behind Jennifer at the moment. Oh, it's a great oh, shot. Got a winner on the forehand side down the line by Venus Williams. Best shot Venus has hit thus far in the match. Right here, gets into this forehand. Clears the net by about six inches, but a lot of follow through on that shot. And another great point saved. Capriati's had two long service games. The first game of his set, 16 points. This one, 10 points. Second serve coming. Oh, straight by Venus. 18 and four serves for Venus Williams. Four games played thus far. Some power tennis from both sides here, Mike. That was really solid from Venus. Great movement. Just out hit Capriati on that point. It's an old fashioned slugfest right now. The fourth deuce of this game. Every time Venus gets on the doorstep of a break. She hits it up for his Oh, 
Oh, another miss hit from the two-hander. Unforced error number 20. So Venus Williams probably saying to herself, if I just keep the ball on the court, I got a chance here to get a break. But now it's advantage Capriati. Capriotti's yeah. backhand, one after another. Capriotti ripping into it, and she wins the battle of nerves. Jennifer Capriotti holds on after five deuces to win the fifth game of the first set and leads 4 1. Venus Williams to serve, 1 4. Catches the linesman with that one, it was 114 miles an hour. I don't know if you saw the other night, but one of Andy Roddick's serves, I believe, hit a last woman. He caught her in, like, in the ribs. That hurts. Ooh, 139 miles an hour. I just couldn't get out of the way of it. They used to supply the midcourt judges with helmets. Maybe they're going to have to do chest protectors. <laughs> center service lines person. <laughs> Good thought. Like umpire, I mean, like yeah. baseball umpire. Yeah. This ball just hits almost at the intersection of the baseline and the sideline. Tremendous control. Good solid serve for the backhand side. Gives Venus a 40 15 lead in the sixth game of this first set. I like sometimes that 4 1 score, a little deceptive. Only one service break, and this thing could get very tight in a, in a hurry here. Especially with a difficulty Jennifer Capriati has had in holding her serve. That was a fault, no call. 40-30. No. Venus, I thought, should have made a move to get in to the net a couple of times during that play, but didn't do it. That ball was floating, no question about it. Big opportunity. It's an ace. This is second ace of the match. Capriani has yet to serve one. And Dennis Williams holds on. It's 4 2. We have arrived at the famous seventh game, Mike. This is the turning point of many sets, and we'll see if Capriotti can get to 5 2 here. Venus Williams, who lost in the semifinals at the Australian Open to Martina Hingis. And Wimbledon able to beat Lindsay Davenport in the semifinals and get to the finals and defeat Justine Emmett in three sets. Defeated Jennifer Capriotti in Miami in the final 7 6 in the third set tiebreak. Into her serves that help her out. That's 
serve at 92 miles an hour. Accord. about power from behind the baseline. Both these players have it. Now, Uncle Venus is about six feet back. Capriati just scrambles to get a record on that ball. A short, easy put away for Venus. Big points now, Mike. Seventh game, 30 all. time. And there's the break for Venus Williams on her seventh break point opportunity. She converts it and gets back on soon. 4-3 in the first. Big first serve and a great return and then Kepriani's forehand is wide. In the old days, they played with six new tennis balls. Each changeover, Forest Hills, they had those beautiful edges in the back. I used to hide some balls back there, so I, I knew I always had a new ball to go with. <laughs> That's a neat trick. Well, I wish I had known that. <laughs> Did you write a book and explain some of these tricks? So the rest of us can pick up on it. Jennifer's going to a hat now. She'll not wear a hat in the opening six games. Good, another deep shot. He was starting to settle down now a little bit. The 22 unforced errors that she's already had. Quite a few in a seven game match. Thus far. Second serve. Piece of the line and Venus Williams pulled it off. I'm just watching now. Capriati off court. Venus just waits for Capriati to lean to her left, hits behind her. Very smart play. And that time Capriati working over Venus Williams back down runs a point. Even the first set at four apiece. And that is a tremendous comeback, Mike, when you think of all the errors that she has committed 22 thus far. To be able to be at four games all in that situation, a tremendous rally from Venus. Such a great athlete. Her body motion was backward, and yet she has the strength just in her shoulders and forearms to knock off a shot like that.
Baseline battle mm. going on. Backhand to oh. and a winner from behind the baseline by Venus Williams. Two in a row right down that line. That is not an easy shot to hit. Nice control. Now watch this shot from Venus. Rocket back early. Just drills it up the line. About six inches from the sideline. Well, 30. Huge chance for Venus Williams to break through here. Net. It's not going to work. She gets caught. She got yes. hesitated for a moment. He got stuck in there with an out of here to shot. And that triple break point against her. She has literally survived six break points in his first set. Second serve. Saved in this match. Still in the first set. No. Oh, yes. she's got a break. Still alive. Down the line. Into the net. Ooh, a break for Capriati, but Venus in so quickly. That's the shot. The two hander just catches. She knew she had missed that shot. Number 11 in the first set. And there it is. Venus Williams breaks through after four opportunities to go up 5-4 in the first set of this U.S. Open Women's Singles Semifinal. Capriati trying to cap a phenomenal year for her by reaching another final of the Grand Slam. But now down 5-4 in the first set. Well, Venus knows what it's like to be down to Capriati. She was down eight match points to her in Miami earlier this year. Somehow got out of it and won that tournament. Help. And kind of a laser fair forehand that time. Yeah. As, as a receiver, Mike, you win that first point on the other player's serve and you say to yourself, come on, this is it. I got a shot. First point, so crucial. Venus coming back with a good hard serve to the backhand. 115 miles per hour. Kind of jammed her on that one. And a spinning volley. Oh, you come almost a signature shot from Venus. She loves that. Play. A lot of people think that's a dangerous, very risky shot. Look at the way she handles this. Rolls over it. Perfect timing. Big high follow through. It's really fun to watch. That's an amazing thing. She rolls over that. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, it's not, it's not like a volley even. Yeah. It's like a forehand in midair. Sampras had the huge leaping overhead, and I think this, that is her 
patented shot that they can roll around for him. Second serve again. Second serve is one with four of 12 points at this point. So the first serve has been one of her keys to getting back in this first set. And the left serve. She said to me years ago, he was a good kid from Los Angeles, and he was Venus. She's a pretty good young player. Boy, is she ever. Nobody is talking about it. Set point for Venus Williams. Now second serve. She goes for a slider down the center, takes a chance. Oh, Carolina cross court backhand. Carter wow. at the feet, and now a great point. Yes, she thought she had enough depth on that shot to sneak in behind it, gets caught, and now Capriati. Time out, everybody. Let's slow it down here. It's just too much power from Venus Williams. One break point save. And I think Jennifer knew it. Set it up a little bit on the forehand side. It was going to be tough. Second deuce. Number of let cords on this service game for Venus Williams. Semifinalists in this tournament have 11 Grand Slam titles between them. So this is a real glamour semifinal matchup this year at the U.S. Open. Oh. There's a serve that goes about 15 feet over the service line. 123 miles an hour. No. Uh, and a double for him. Amazing. All of a sudden, her serve room just goes. Chance for the break. Wiped out by the backhand of Venus. That two-hander, look at the control down the line. Perfect shot and one of the biggest points of the set. Third deuce. Now a little trouble on the deuce side serving. Oh. And Jennifer goes for it. It's the other one. Hit it in the net. She went for it all in that return. That's for another chance. Another set point for Venus Williams. Another big serve. Way long. <laughs> Nearly double faulted again. Set two doubles in this game. Three in the match. Go wisely. We're back to do it. Capriati hit one of their best returns. They just jumped on that forehand. He was deep to the backhand. Perfect timing. Crowd getting into it. Yeah. We're at Arthur Ashe Stadium.
on another set point for Venus Williams. Steps back, resets. service games. And now Venus Williams into the same kind of game. Oh, oh a clean winner. That is spectacular tennis from Capriati. The ball right into a power zone here. Racket back there. Nice week. Oh, a perfect forehand. What a great camera angle. Ooh, another break point for Capriati. Crowd given a chance to get into this match after that blowout in the other semifinal. Oh. Jennifer blows it long. Capriati doing something like that. The Venus does a lot, and he's creeping on the second serve. And she backs up right here, but the forehand, she's about two feet inside the baseline. Letting Venus watch her do that, which really is a little bit disturbing to the server. That didn't pay off. It's the sixth deuce of the game. Second game of the set, and then broke Jennifer Capriati twice. The line. Good. And another break point coming. Get your calculator out. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> now, it's Capriati, now what do you do? Do you move way back? You're taking some extra time. Back and left. She wants quiet in the stadium. Yeah, I know she's talking about her arms right now. I'm going to fuck the line. And again, another opportunity missed. Used to. 
<laughs> I saw him here yeah. last week. He looks in great shape. Oh, yeah. This guy's a good place by the ball. The ball is set to Venus Williams. So, a package of great points going by. Bob Bull. Yeah. But uh, you have to, uh, based on the replay, read the call. So, Venus has set number one, 6-4. Tough set for Jennifer Capriani. He looked like she had it tucked away early there. She had a 4 1 lead in the first set. Last five games in a row, won by Venus Williams. This was the U.S. Open on the women's side. It kind of held the form, Barry, because we've seen a lot of upsets over the years here. But this year, first time in 12 Grand Slams, only four of the top 16 seeds failed to get to the fourth round. So uh, things have worked out in terms of the seeding, even though you know, Serena Williams might be a, somewhat of a surprise at the 10th seed to get into the championship. Based on her results when she does play, a lot of people don't think it's a surprise. Of course. No. Got the Addy. After 15 all. I think this is a tough game to play, Mike. First game of the second set, you've had a big letdown. Losing that first set, and it's tough, I think, for Jennifer now to get her wits to, together again. And that one about 10 feet beyond the baseline. It is difficult because should you lose this game, you, you almost feel like the match is getting away from you. Yeah. Capriati looks like she's in a hurry again. No. <laughs> Venus and beating Kim Kleister previous round at 43 on fourth day. There's another one. There's the break point. Serve being as well inside the baseline. Huh? Grading baseline glass. Mm -hmm. Benefit of the net and the this is clean body into the net. A break for Venus Williams in the first game. And the second set. She's up a set and up a game in set number two. Has to be feeling her confidence growing now. She's won six straight games. Jennifer not happy with her neck play. She's been in there six times. Mike Arnie has won one of those points. And the contrast side. Williams in 11 times with nine winners. Venus has been averaging over 100 miles an hour on her first serve. 119 was her fastest serve, so that has become a real weapon. That serve at 103. He's won 70% of her first serve points. Jennifer just 53%. Now you can see that sun and the shadows becoming a factor on this vast center court. Just about dissecting it right down the center there. 
You see what Jennifer Capriati saw. It was a double fault. Fourth of the match for Venus. Love 30. Whatever you're going to break, now's the time. Jennifer's been to seven finals this year. Trying to reach her eighth final of the season. That's good. That is another very close call on that sideline, but it was good. Jennifer thought it might have been wide. But no overrule from Jane Harvey in the chair. You know, it's interesting. You almost see more com not complaining, but second guessing of calls. On the women's side, we were watching yeah. Andy Roddick the other night with Leighton Hewitt. And he had 135 mile an hour serves and shots, and yet uh, didn't see much question of line calls. 30 all. That right winner, cross court by Venus Williams, right on the baseline. Right into the body, and Venus Williams has a two-run lead in the second set. A game of crucial one, Mike. Got the audience having all kinds of possibilities there with that love 30 score. She's going to remember that one if she doesn't win this match. Williams, defending oh. Wimbledon champion two times. She could be one of those all timers at Wimbledon. Oh, yeah. With this kind of game. Well, Martina Navratilova, a long time winner there, and at least in the singles, and, and that could happen. It's good. That time, Valley right at the line. 15 all. She won 35 in a row last year. Six straight titles before losing to Lindsay Davenport. She gets on a winning streak, and Venus Williams can rip off some wins. Mm. He's got that ability, it seems, to overcome adversity in matches. You mentioned the eight match points she faced against Capriati yeah. in Miami. That's amazing. And you've got to be perfect for eight points to keep it alive. Well, when you think how she was playing just maybe half an hour ago, Mark, right here, spraying balls all over the court and all kinds of trouble, somehow puts it together. A great competitor, Venus Williams. Oh! It's wide. Thinking about it a little bit. I mean, perhaps you know, what am I going to do about that shot <laughs> that I'm be facing it tomorrow night? Could be a classic. Yep. Prime time tomorrow night in the States. Oh, that's nice. The Adam maybe showing a little frustration there. If Venus misses on the ground stroke. No. Another great point. 
Venus Williams has had multiple opportunities in this match. 15 break points. He's converted three. Here's Williams. There's another one. a little by surprise at time. Manage Capriati. Oh, and Jennifer, a little change of pace, survives a couple of break points. She has a game in the second set. She's down a set here at the U.S. Open. Venus Williams quoted the other day saying, I'm hoping to be in the final. 8 p.m. sharp at the dance. Expect the dance, I love it. Going to be a dance, could be a dance with sisters. <laughs> Venus Williams can hang on and win a second set. has never failed to reach the semifinals of the U.S. Open on their trips here. It up a little bit, slicing some shots back with that one-headed backhand, but it hasn't hey, affected Venus Williams. And what can you do about that serve? Another ace. 111 miles per hour. It looked like a slice might but it had a lot of pace on it. Just caught the sideline. Hard to believe it. At 14 years of age, Jennifer was in the top 10 way back in 1990. Now, I got a question the jug's got on that one. That was a was a slice serve. How could that have been 113 miles an hour? That is amazing. I hope that radar gun is under control. <laughs> you know, we always question that in baseball. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah they, the they, fastball. Well, they show some, you know, speed guns at 95 that uh, look like 90 mile an hour fastball yeah. sometimes. Jennifer rips a winner. And a big serve. Roddy coming back at 110 miles per hour. Jennifer, 25 years old. A decade later, she's back at the semifinals at the U.S. Open. It's been a phenomenal story all year yeah. long. And I think the people who follow women's tennis appreciate the story. John McEnroe saying maybe the biggest sports story in 20 years. That's saying a lot. 
from off the radar screen completely to two Grand Slam championships. Remember when Capriati started to come back about three years ago, I think it was. You know, you'd say, well, she played in the tournament. She won a match. That seemed like a, a moral victory. Exactly. And now she's won two Grand Slams. She's in another semifinal. And coming from where she was, we have to appreciate that. Jennifer Hold serve fails 2-3 in the second. So tough. Jennifer way inside the baseline on the second serve. Oh. Yeah, so the Capriati with a little impatient, frustrated, knowing that she had a chance to tuck that first set away. Didn't do it. She's kind of been a little over aggressive on the second serve. Venus Williams in a couple of opportunities. Can't blame her for being a little impatient. You're down a set, you want to make it happen. Covered in shadows now. Much better playing conditions, Mike. No question about that. It's tough out there when you half in the sun and the shade. First time ever there'll be a women's final at night at the U.S. Open. That, that tells you what status women's tennis has reached. Absolutely. Here in the states, I think everybody feels that women's tennis is a bit ahead ahead of the men's game in terms of crowd support, fan appreciation. Well, people like Andy Roddick would make a difference out of that. That one goes wide. A big point for Capriani. A chance to break here and get back in this second set. And you can hear this crowd. They would love to see it happen right now. Game. So this could be a turnaround game for Jennifer Capriati. A break. She gets back even. She's still two points away from that. Oh. Jennifer trying to slice her yeah. team back and just barely caught it. Ball hit the line. Mike and stayed so low. The minute that ball hits a little bit slicker surface on those lines, and the ball just doesn't come up. As Jennifer stands there waiting. Didn't want to be rushed. And then Miss hits that return. Williams. So Venus Williams holds on to go up to the second old. set. A little stare down there yeah, by Jennifer. You know something, Mike? This entire match, Jennifer seemed to be just a little edgy. I mean, at the very start, everything seemed to bother her a little bit. Now, earlier in the week, she seemed to be, well, earlier in the two weeks, I should say, this being a grand slam, she didn't seem edgy, but didn't want to be in the spotlight much. Mm -hmm. she, you know, you're a two-time grand slam winner in a single season. People are going to want your attention and need to hear from you. She didn't seem to want to be in that spotlight. Finally, Capriati wins 
hands on his neck. You look at these shots. He comes in nuts off that ball. He's just perfect. Yeah, Bugatti doing a lot of walking around now. He's trying to regain a little bit of energy here. Venus just steps up in that return and evens it up at 15 all. They say always change a losing game, never change a winning game. That's, that's from that famous Tilden book as well, <laughs> where the seventh game is so important. Must be good. It's good reading. It's oh, yeah. Now, Capriati, he's unfinished on the backhand. And now, like, he's a huge place to Capriati. He lets his game slip away. Venus would be serving for the, for the match. Now second serve. No, double falls. 15 40 and two great points for Venus Williams. Three straight serves. He missed. Venus well inside that baseline now. Keeping the pressure on. Jennifer cut the volley about the service line and swung it wide. The break for Venus Williams. She leads in the second set 5 2. At the U.S. Open 2001, the women's single semifinal, second of the day. We're into an hour and 19 minutes, and Venus Williams has broken through once again. For the second time in the set, a service break of Jennifer Capriati, and now will be serving for the match and the trip to the finals against her sister, Serena Williams. Let to see her finish to close this out. Venus Williams to serve for a break in the U.S. Open final, leading by a seven up 5-2 in the second. Anticipating what could be history making stuff at the U.S. Open with his two daughters in the final. Oh, oh that's one. 15 30. Jennifer had a left 30 lead last time with Venus Williams earlier in the set, but couldn't finish it off and break. Sisters have met professionally. Venus has a 4 2 advantage. They played in a couple of finals. Each is 1 1. 
from Miami of 99, Venus and the Grand Slam Cup. Serena. Well, I wonder where Ricky's going to take the sisters out for dinner tonight. Get ready for a busy take them anywhere. Get ready for a big table, Mike. Jennifer Capriati capping another great round of a Grand Slam event. 